What the hell? Jesus, I don't know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, hey okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> What? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. Freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots and a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about floor eyes? We can't just leave them here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. Shoots County Militia? Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute and yes, sir. I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? The camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. Girls got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fratern fraternizing. Fraternizing. <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, Follow orders. Nobody messes with you. Women same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not... Uh, listen, I, I'm just... I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh... Do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from uh, from the refugee camp? Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Port. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? Uh, no, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. 
I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So, how long one, have you been drifting? Two, Hard one, to say. Two, uh, one, you lose two, track of time out the there, cadence. you know. Moving, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where'd you get your gear? Ammo. Well, there's a couple of camps I used to do runs for bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun? <laughs> uh, yeah. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Why are you not working hard? Why are you still in my obstacle course? What? Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. He doesn't look like militia. Come on. You can run faster than that. My dead grandma can run faster than that. My dead crippled grandmother. Who is it? Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, <laughs> uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've, been I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah, come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. Yes. Uh, she wouldn't be in the mechanics area. She never knew a wrench from a screwdriver. Hey, new around here? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergy. Deacon St. John, yeah. Later. Uh, check this one. Yes. Nope, Even not together. here. Moving, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Ah, oh, damn it. She's not here either. Uh, 
Something's got to be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. No, could it? Cute drawings. St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. You're getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. So you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. I can ride. Well, you want to join the militia? You're going to have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. So what the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means... That means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. And what? You're gonna burn all the buildings, too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? War? You've been out in this shit. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. Do we have a plan? If the Colonel lets you join, he'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake, you asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. This is it. Hey, Corporal. The captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? What has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. The hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. So he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What'd you find? 
the fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look, over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. <sighs> this way. Wait, 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 hold up. Uh, you find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Hold up, hold up. Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? Eh, depends. On what? On how hungry it is. That's the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice work. One of the camps can use this. I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot, right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? <sighs> That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? Ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Yeah, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Right there with you. I gotta say, they're getting tired running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. So look, you gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them just in this part of the state alone. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What 
What do you think? Is anyone else tracking him? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Wow, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. The wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? Ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Yeah, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Right there with you. I gotta say, they're getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. So look, you gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more. Of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them it's just in this part of the state alone. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking him? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait, hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. 
Is that on your map? Yeah. Oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. See your man? Yeah. That's him. Yeah. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. I saw something. Rock. Something's here. Was that a rock? Someone doing rocks? <laughs> Men coming! Shut up tight. What the hell is wrong with you? Got him. Gotta pull back. Falling 
Come on. I'm down. What do you say now, huh? I'm hit. I'm hit. Last of them. I think so. Nice work. Come on, let's go deal with your man. Vasquez? He isn't my man. Not anymore. We missed anyone. You can handle him. He won't know what hit him. Wait, whoa, 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 easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. How was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Hurry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh. You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Or the hell not. <laughs> <laughs> 